Well, again, uh, you're the young man that put up some of the signs, but you said there's a lot of other folks. Is it accelerating uh, after they uh, engage in the hoax saying you've been arrested? Uh, or is it now dying down around your town? Unfortunately, it is dying down. So I do uh, call on any, uh, you know, Central Florida Patriots to, you know, keep it up and, you know, get back out and do some more. But you are seeing the signs up there. Oh, yeah, they're not going away. I mean, the power of citizens, period, putting up signs, this is what the Sons of Liberty did. They would put up simple broadsheets with a couple lines of text on it, and this brought the British Empire down in the Americas. And uh, they are so scared to death of this. And so you're now seeing signs that say, don't take the flu shot. What is the image? Uh, it's pretty funny. It's actually a snake, uh, and, and instead of fangs, that's uh, syringes. That was on the flyer, and it said, do not Let me guess. So they're using the David Dees illustration yeah, yeah, image. The yeah. Perfect. We'll post that. I'm sure Dees is happy for us, too. What a, see, what a great artist, graphic artist. Everything he does gets seen by millions of people. Uh, I've seen it with a snake. That's it. But but that's not going to be the contest winner. I'm going to have another $1,000. I need Kurt Nemo to tune in and, and write up the contest rules by, by uh, tonight, please. They're going to be $1,000. For whoever comes up with the best poster, with the best image, and Dees can be part of it. He can come up with a new image if he wants, but we're also going to post his as an example that people should initially use. And But it just needs to say, don't take the shot. Don't take the flu shot at Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com on the top. So infowars.com, prisonplanet.com on the top, and then we'll always have a vaccine area there for people to be alerted. We already have that, but we'll make it prominent. So I don't have time to build another site. The point is, we'll have that up there, and then at the bottom, don't take the flu shot or don't take the shot. And we're going to have a $1,000 for the best poster. The best poster that is then also publicly displayed in a legal and lawful way, or the most artful way. And so the best poster, but we don't want people to wait. Uh, we want people just to go absolutely ape. So uh, we, will you guys ask Janae Meadows or ask Douglas right now to take the David D's? Uh, you can go to dsillustration.com with the two fangs coming out of its mouth and then say, don't take the flu shot. That is genius. Let's get a simple InfoWars Prison Planet variant of that up. And then the contest will be whoever can come up with the best poster and post them. Best poster, so it's not just our posters. We'll uh, send them to contest at infowars.com and, uh, or post them on the web, send them to us. We'll put a link to them and we will put those up. And, and again, this is getting everybody. I wanted to demonstrate to everybody the power of people just taking action. I don't know if, if people realize how serious, I mean, it could be called the poster revolution in the United States, my friend. Yeah, it could go down to history, you know, like the Boston Tea Party. I wonder if they'll say we're being racist against snakes if we show a snake with with, with acid fangs. Yeah, we're, we're anti-reptilian, anti-snake. They'll probably claim that's racist. But you know what? You've got to ignore their asinine attempts to cold-bloodedly silence your free speech. The, the people doing this, listen, you've got the floor over the last few minutes. Say whatever you like instead of me just hyperventilating. Well, I mean, look, I'm just one man, and I just posted, or one boy, I just posted these on telephone polls, and I was able to get the story on, you know, literally over a dozen, you know, uh, Central Florida media outlets. I'm just one person. I didn't even imagine it would generate this kind of, uh, you know, buzz. So, I mean, imagine if we all did this. I mean, you know, I mean, there's a lot more of us than there are of them. And by them, I mean, you know, the tyrants. I mean, if people would just realize that if we all post flyers, they can't stop us. And uh, Continue. You know, I, I just call on, you know, all uh, people in Central Florida especially to keep it up. And, uh, you know, if you haven't joined We Are Change yet, go to meetup.com slash We Are Change Florida. Uh, we'll be passing out free DVDs and stuff for the uh, upcoming tea party in downtown Orlando. Yeah, I've been doing my own informal study around the country. I would say half of Ron Paul's support is 9-11 truthers. And I understand at a certain level why he stayed away from it because the media tried to demonize him with it yeah i don't uh i don't hold it against them but i did see him in that las vegas when the lady asked him why aren't you covering and he, and he looks kind of sad and he goes well because i got a lot of other stuff to focus on and 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 and, and you know the code there is hey i, I got to deal with all this other stuff and i understand that 
And, you know, when he's on my show, he'll talk about false flag. He'll talk about Gulf of Tonkin, Ajax, stage provocations. Uh, I mean, Paul hasn't told me off the side, hey, I'm a 9-11 truther. But he knows about stage provocation. And I think he understands, though, that, uh, it, you know, it, it might have been a good move in the final equation because uh, of him holding his cards to his vest because now look at him. They tried to destroy him in the media. Now he's too big for that to even happen. Because they can try to manufacture things. They can try to set him up in hotel rooms. They can try to distort what he says, edit what he says. And more and more that happens to me, man. I am seeing stuff where they'll, they will take hundreds of shows I've done and edit it down to really slickly. You know, they're getting the same file source, you know, going to our archives so it sounds the same and really doing some nasty stuff. And I know they've been trying that on Ron Paul too or taking out of context what he said in newsletters. But it didn't work. I mean, we it, it, it's so exciting what's happening as we gain momentum. So you're calling for folks, even though you're facing hyped up felony charges, do we give into this and become the Soviet Union, or do we intensify it tenfold? Intensify it a hundredfold. Yeah, no, do as much as you possibly can. You know, go to Kinko's and have a thousand printed up and put them all up. Well, I think it's also important to carry a, a video camera. I I mean, oh, yeah, San, sure, yeah. San Antonio, we are change, was stapling them up to telephone poles in the bar district where there were already other people's posters everywhere. And Obama supporters, white yuppies that looked like they were out of their minds, just like so walk over and rip it off because they bought into the corporate image of Obama, which he isn't that image. It's a total fraud. They They have completely bought into it. And so they just can't get out of it. And... They don't want to admit they've been conned. You know, they're that hardcore 30, 40 percent that Obama could be doing, you know, killing children on the White House lawn. You know, his wife could be doing voodoo dances and, you know, no one would care. Uh, Rahm Emanuel could be, you know, uh, doing whatever he wants and they don't care. And just the image of them coming up and trying to get those posters. I mean, describe these people to me. Well, no, it, it really does bother them. And I, I don't think it's. I don't think they're mad that, you know, we're mocking Obama. I think they're just mad that, you know, they're saying, you know, they're God. You know, they're, they're, it's almost like the Joker image of Obama is this true image. You know, he's a sinister, evil, untrustworthy, you know, criminal. And when they see that, it just bothers them a, a lot and disturbs them. But I, I have faith in him because, I mean, my whole family used to be a bunch of Bush supporters, including me. And now I'm on sidewalks with a bullhorn saying 9-11 was an inside job. So anybody can turn around. I mean, we were all there once. Hey, I was too. I mean, I knew about the Federal Reserve and the New World Order, but I was like a kind of mainline Ron Paul type 14 years ago. And now the facts are the facts. I mean, on so many issues, I have changed my perspective as I learned more. And as I realize how this game is played. And so really my job is to describe to people how the game is played and show people examples of this. And more and more, once you know the magician's trick, it's game over. Yeah. I mean, describe. What would they do? I mean, they would run up to you and get in your face? Well, uh, I, I can just recall the first person. Uh, it, it was a you know, middle-aged man. He ran up to me taking my picture with a cell phone camera saying, I'm, I'm going to report you. I'm going to turn you in. And, uh, you know, I'm asking why, because you, you can't post this stuff. This is wrong. And I said, well, I mean, this is my First Amendment right. You know, I ab absolutely have the right to say whatever I want and post whatever I want. And he says, no, you do not. No, you do not. And he started calling me an effing skinhead. Actually, I, he actually threatened to, quote, slap the hell out of me if I didn't stop also. Uh, but, I mean, that's just one of them, and I'm not so, saying all bomb supporters are like that. But, but I mean, notice, though, that in Iran... They were pulling down posters and slapping people, and the media was hyperventilating and freaking out. It's total selective enforcement. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, I mean, they even told me to my face, the investigators, that, you know, they don't enforce this ordinance normally. But now that something unpopular has been posted that, you know, some people don't like that, you know, they may have to enforce it. Meanwhile, well, I drive around, there's, you know, garage sale signs on every other pole. Well, here is the Hayes County Free Press, and in this article... They say, oh, we don't have an ordinance against this. And it said citizens are at the city council demanding an ordinance. Oh, okay, so you have people demanding to make it illegal? Oh, that's, that's great. 
Yeah, because I knew most towns and cities, if you do it in the commons area, um, you know, there's no ordinance against it. Uh, and I, so I said follow local laws. But now they're saying legislate it out of there in this headline, freedom of hate speech. <laughs> I mean, these people are begging to live in a tyranny. Don't they have any idea that once the First Amendment's gone, we're all totally screwed? Yeah, and unfortunately, they won't know until they want to say something that, is, that they're passionate about and they can't do it because they don't have the freedom to because they gave it away. Well, I mean, take Michael Savage. I mean, you know, he hates on Arabs 24-7, and, and I don't agree with that because I'm not here to hate on Arabs, hate on Jews, hate on blacks, hate on... I do, I do not like the, the racial groups that are into racial identity that are in all those groups who everybody else's racial identity is bad but theirs. But I don't want to be sucked into that. But so, but even though I disagree with Michael Savage on some issues, I fought for his right to not be banned from flying to England. And by the way, that got removed. 